Brandon, it's a little bit later than so, night. Just a little bit. It's late but night. That's what happens when it's game night. We decided to make a game night reaction, bro. This is sick. This is really sick. I'm well, I'm kind of for good early. or bad. Well, for me, it's it's a great time. It's a great freaking time true. to be alive. That's true. For you, not so much because I'm one game away from my freaking jersey, and I can't wait. It's fun. I still have confidence. But let's hear this question that I have no clue what you got. Okay. No clue if you got a question or whatever, like. No, I have a question. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, I was just at a conference. Okay. And uh, I don't know. This, it, it was a question that we asked everyone, and and, and I wanted to see your thoughts because it was, it was kind of interesting. Um, and I wanted to tailor it towards sports world. Okay. okay. So like the original question was, if you were to become famous and like have a newspaper front page about you, what would you want to be famous for? And maybe that just should be the question. Like, what would your newspaper headliner be? Like, what is it about? Oh, winning on a free kick World Cup for the USA. Like, let's Ooh. just go big. Let's go big. Like, that's worldwide Dude. right there. Like, that's worldwide. Okay. Like, not just, you know, not just like a regular goal, but like free kick go lost. So, like. Really? Oh, yeah. Free kick USA for World Cup. What? When? Like, the whole thing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whole thing. You got to get there first, buddy. <laughs> buddy, I know. But you said, you, you didn't say, you didn't, you know. Yeah. You no, didn't say it had to be reasonable. Dream big. Dream big. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think my dream would be like, I don't know. I'm going to say domestic a little bit. I, I want like that Ray Allen moment. You know what I mean? That's fair. I want that Ray the Allen Ray moment. Allen, the Kawhi over Philly moment. Like the moments where he's just like. Yes. The world yes. stops for five to six seconds. Yeah, I respect that. You know, and, and, See, and like I yeah. want it over Durant because I think he's a baby. You know what I mean? Like I want that joint sure. over That's Durant fair. and call it a day. Not like over Joel Embiid. No, I want it Durant and I want to humble him. I want That's humble fair. Him. I mean, you know? yeah, like if I'm if I if I'm scoring a free kick, I want it to be against like give me like either Spain or like e England, one of those like m iconic World Cup teams and their goalie like full out stretch like going for it and it's just upper 90s like does not matter you you can try to tip it you ain't doing it well well i, I you know they might not unless you have uh courtois in and it's like madrid you know all over. Put, it up, put it over him put it over him Done. you want belgium you want oh, it yeah. over team usa beats belgium in the world cup final i love that i love that um that yeah no it was I, th I thought it was interesting. A lot of people came up I with like that. cool things, but I liked sports. I was just like, yeah. what do you want to be if you could? Um, but we have some news. We, we do. Have some news, and maybe we could bounce back and forth on let's that. Let's just look quick, real quick, quick news. You want to go first? You want to go first? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, All right. Soccer news. We're going to stay on soccer because you brought it up. Chiellini well. to LAFC. I love this. I like it. How much, the, how much does he have left in the tank? I don't know, but, you know, I mean, it's a power move. It's a power move. I mean, this is this is the trend that the MLS is going. In, yeah. You know? It's it's going to continue being like this, uh, which I'm not mad at. Like, even if he has a year or two, I would love to watch him a year or two. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I just wish they had more people starting yeah. in U.S. and then going instead of just yeah. like coming to. to well, the coaches, quit. the coaches though, the coaches leave the MLS for other things. You know, that happens often. As in, right. the head coach for NYCFC just left for a um, yeah, Ronnie Dila, Ronnie yeah, Dila yeah. for uh, Belgium. I mean, I, but, I would yeah. like to see like the bigger name leagues, but like this is huge because like yeah, I mean, we, it's we're, we're starting stone. to establish ourselves. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Also, we didn't mention this, but I just remembered. Uh, I believe Marcelino retired. I believe. I think it happened today or yesterday. I forgot to mention that. Um, I saw Ronaldo post put a post about them and stuff. So. I had and I looked a little bit into it, but you know, shout out to him. That's insane. Shout yeah. out to him, man. What a I career! Mean, what a career! Seriously, you can't compete. You can't. No, there's not that many people above him. Yeah. Like when you can say that about a person, that means they're legit. Yeah. You know. Uh. What What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Uh, I mean, you know, just you know, a little NFL, you know, uh, training camps happening. Lamar showed up, so good news for the Ravens. Okay. Um. The Browns still, you know, Brown drama is always nothing's changed right. on that one. Um, but 
I think next week is when the veteran started so or starts. So I think that's when we're really going to start to see the flood of everyone show up. But that's really it for NFL, which I'm kind of happy about. I like when there's not too much NFL drama because that means I can talk more about my my Braves. Because Shut up. boy, am I happy right now. Twelve straight. <laughs> You're welcome. Twelve straight dubs, um, including over You're your welcome. nationals tonight. Thank you very much. I, I um, gave him a call. Let yeah, yeah, I appreciate. It. Um, so I mean, they're streaking the right time. Yankees and Mets are both really hot still. They're both two first two teams to forty wins are in New York. Um, but the Braves are closing the gap on the Mets, so I'm happy to see that. Um, the Phillies are a little hot. They won not uh, ten out of the last eleven, I think. So like the East is heating up. But listen, if the Braves stay hot, man, we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna get back. I, yeah, like, I mean, this was but, supposed to happen. Like, it I, like, was. Am I supposed but to say like, congratulations. Yes, you are. You sure? Okay, congrats. Well, congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For a first thank round. You. Uh, you know what? You know what? Ooh, I'm gonna save that because I don't know baseball like that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna know baseball like that, and I'm gonna be able to roast you. Okay. I, I'm gonna be like a. I'm gonna have a Golden State moment. You know what I mean? Just maybe, like, maybe, maybe you know, maybe sometime in your future we'll uh, have someone on to talk baseball a little bit to teach you. You know what? I'll have my people talk to your people. We'll get something figured out. We'll get something to happen. Yeah, we'll make it yeah. happen. Well, and speaking from something that I've been right on with basketball and then looking at hockey, I, I don't think we could have been more wrong <laughs> on this pick. On one side. On one side. Well, for me, I was wrong on both sides. That's and this true. Was bad. Were. Oh, my gosh. Tampa Bay Lightning. Beats Go the for the three, Pete. Go they for could the three, Pete. Like, I like crazy. It's my ignorance for not knowing that, like, this repeat was possible. But, like, I don't know, man. I didn't – I thought the Rangers had them. And then the Colorado Avalanche, I mean, we talked about last week. We thought Kate Canada was going to come for it. So, like, I mean – sweat. They sweep, too. Like, oof. Like, I don't know how we should read this. Like, I'm I'm confused. You I know think, what I mean? Like, where, see, where are you, which way are you leaning? It starts uh... – Starts so Wednesday, right? I think. Yes. I... Honestly, as hot as Tampa is, the way Colorado swept swept um Edmonton, I'm I, I'm feeling Colorado. Like gut feeling says Colorado. Okay. Whether or not my gut's been right lately, that's a debate. Yeah, that's but, a debate. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna go Colorado over Tampa Bay. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm gonna lean Tampa because I can't agree with you. That's, fair. that's just like how we're supposed to live. I think they that's get fair. it. I think they get it done. Uh, you know, maybe after game one, we could put a little money on it. Call money. money. Yeah. A little just money, 10 maybe. bucks, not a jersey. Yeah. I don't feel as oh, confident for a jersey. You, you, listen, I'll throw, listen, I'll take a Colorado jersey. I'll take it. I, I already have a dinner and a possible jersey. I don't Poss- want to ruin it. Hey, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. We'll, you we'll, know? we'll talk it. My people will talk to your people. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure something out. They're listening to it. They listen to it. Yeah. So, what, what do we got for basketball? Where to start? Um, <laughs> let's 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 start with the Hawks. Let's start with my boys. Apparently, the Hawks are interested in signing DeAndre DeAndre Aiden in a sign and trade deal, which I would love. Um, I also saw somewhere today there someone photoshopped a picture of Rudy Gobert in a Hawks jersey, which I don't know if that's to be a thing or not. But I'm kind of hoping not, so we'll see. I don't like this personally yeah. because I thought you said you could get Durant. Well, so if we get Aiden, we can still get Durant. That's still possible because Durant would. I mean, we could still we have put. Listen, if your name isn't Trey Young, you can be traded. So okay, it doesn't matter. Um, the Pelicans say they want to sign Zion to Max, and Zion says he <laughs> wants to stay a Pelican. Do I believe anything either team, either of them are saying? No, but right. you know, this is a sticky situation. I don't like. Yeah. I don't like this situation uh, at all. Yeah. Um. We'll see. They're and delusional, then, and then Zion's fat, so it's just like yeah, not a good situation. Literally. Um. The Jazz are going to inter- interview uh, Jason Terry, which I'm not against that interview. Will they actually hire him? I don't know, but I like something. it. Deserves it. For sure. Yeah, I wonder. I kind of want to know like what his background is with Dom and Mitchell, maybe to see if. Mm. But you know, um, and then um, Kenny, uh, 
can't think of his last name right now. Atkinson. Thank you. You knew that off the top of your head. I did not. Um, to, went to the Hornets. I'm not sure all the details on that, but I I like the move. I like I think, it. I mean, you I get think, some championship I, experience. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I don't see them making noise. You know, I mean, they may maybe seven or eight seed, but first round out maybe. So. Maybe. But then, like, I'll be, like second round maybe. Yeah. On a good day. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then as you like to say, the meat and potatoes. Golden State taking the three-two lead as of about thirty minutes ago over I'm Boston. Boston. Give or take. Uh, I'll let you start because I know this is your mo- your one shining moment. One shining, one. Wow, short-term memory loss. Much. I- oh, I do that. I do that on purpose because it hurts too much to remember all the losses I've had recently. It's been so, a bad streak. I won't lie. You know what, man? Like, I don't blame you because, like, I was right. Like, I feel like at a certain point, you're not, like, you just you're have not to say, right like, just yet on this one. You're leaning towards it. I'm leaning. If this was a cliff and I was leaning on the edge, I'm almost off. Like I'm here. You're right. This I'm hold. Is... I'm holding on to you by like you know like you seen those videos where the guys like they're they're bungee jumping and like the guy like sparring kicks them off. My yeah. foot like like if you if I'm <laughs> like let's be real, I'm the one that's leaning and you're about to spar and kick me off to get the jersey, but there's still a chance that you might not. Like there's still a small chance. Like, but I'll jump whip. on my own. Like, like I'm not fully whip. out yet. <laughs> yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance you'll whiff and go off yourself. There's still a small chance. <laughs> well, I have to say this. This I is – oh, crap. <laughs> this is dead. <laughs> I'm dead. This is not good. <laughs> I have to say, I was very nervous. I was very, very nervous. First half – like, I just – my brain's all over the place, and this is why I really like doing this live reaction. Thing, because I don't know. I don't know where I'm at. First of all, Draymond Green, get over yourself. You fouled out three out of the five games. Uh, yeah, dude. I, it, his mother tweeted. She doesn't know who he is right now. So, like, call us. But, call us. This guy, man, just play the freaking game. There's no yeah. need. Um, it, I mean, yeah. Do that. That the refs tonight. I mean, the refs tonight were trash. Let's be real. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. They were horrendous. Um. They were I let's be they are the reason that Golden State won that game tonight. Like the fourth quarter, the ref were like, here's a foul, here's a foul. Take it up. You want one? Have it. Um, but no, I I'm concerned, but I have said from the game one that I think Boston wins in seven, they win six and seven in a row. Um but yeah. Yeah, so what are your thoughts though? Like how confident are you? Well, I think the other big storyline to this is not only Draymond Green going out, but Steph Curry having the moment that he had. I mean, what was it, 133 games with a three-pointer? Um, yeah. And it was just like uh, – like the, the – like he was still playing great. You know what I mean? Like I saw – towards the end of the game, like when he really put it out of reach, like he hit this really nice – I like this left-handed layup that he did. Yeah around Grant, uh, Grant Williams. Uh, but my issue with the whole thing is, like, you can't have that in the finals. You know what I mean? Like, Steph is great. He, I think he's, like, one of the very few guys that has three max contracts already yeah. in this point in his career. You, you can't do that. You know yeah. what I mean? But at the same time, when you have Andrew Wiggins playing like the way he did, That's which is the, the I mean, you don't. I mean, he's, which he's is why I love this series. team. And like both teams, honestly, like when you look at Boston, they have two guys that could go off. Yeah. When you look at Golden State, any of them, Paul can they go can. off. Wiggins, Clay, Steph. I mean, obviously not Draymond, but he could control the whole game. So like you have four yeah. guys versus these two guys that could just score. That is huge. This is his it first is. double double where he led the team in points and rebounds. He finished the game with 43 and 13 or 42 and 13, 40, whatever. Yeah, like the man popped he went off. off and like the, the, going into the series, I said to you that Andrew Wiggins is going to decide it. This is, yeah. this was the must win game because if they lost game five and went back to Boston. Oh yeah. Down three, two, this is over. Like I would not yeah. have this. I would not be here right now. I would have I, 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 mean, I, I mean, I did say like earlier, like 
yesterday, everyone I talked to in person, I was like, Golden State's winning game five, but they're not going to win game six. Like, I still think it goes seven. Like, no matter right. what, I feel like Boston was going to take it at home. And then I just – Tatum is not playing Tatum. Like, right now, Tatum is playing awful. Right. I don't know if it's because he's hurt or what. Like, But the thing is, like, in my opinion, like you say, click, Steph had an off night, and you still get blown out. Given you got blown on the fourth, but it just seemed like everyone on both teams, even the fourth, was just tired. Like the defense was lagging. Like people were not getting back. It just seemed, it was very sloppy basketball as a whole in the fourth quarter, in my opinion. And this was Boston's best third quarter, I'd say, in the whole playoffs. Right. So I think. And this, this is was, the game to the win for them. Like yeah. if I was to say to you, hey, Steph isn't going to make a three this game, what would you do? You'll bet on the freaking Celtics. Oh, yeah. They blew this opportunity to the Celtics. Like yeah. I'm very disappointed in how they played. I just I don't like, I just don't see I don't see Golden State winning in on like in Game Six just because every game there's been a different person pop off. You had Horford in Game One. Game Two was a uh, Steph. Somewhat like he didn't pop off, pop off. Game Two was kind of more like Steph as a, like you know Steph, but. Game three was – at this point, I can't remember because my brain is so jostled right now from the fact that Steph still missed, like, what, nine threes today? Like, Right. It's just – who's going to show up for Boston in game six is the question, and that's what matters. Like, if no one shows up, it's over. But if you, you can – if Tatum shows up for, like, anything, I feel like they're going to win it. But, like, he's just been taking some awful shots lately, in my opinion. And there was a couple shots, and I was just like, just drive. Drive for the two. Yeah. Like, no, that's huge. It's both huge. teams, both teams were living by the three, and they were, neither team was making it for a while. That's why it was so close. Like neither team could make a three. I'm just like drive. Like Horford, Horford hasn't done anything in my opinion since game one. I feel like he's right. done nothing. And in, in the last five ish minutes, they didn't even have uh, Robin Williams or Grant, uh, Al Horford. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the issue with this series that I see. I see could happen is if Brown shows up because I think yeah. he unlocks it for them. He had a good game, but like not great. You know what I mean? I also, I think also a big deal is smart has to stop playing to Draymond's hands. Cause yes. once he started getting fouled, he started, getting, he started getting frustrated, started going at the refs. You can't do that. Play your game, bro. Like exactly. You are that guy in the streets. You are that guy. Don't try to be that guy against Draymond because Draymond will foul out happily. He's done it three of time, three times in five games already. Like, just play your game. I would even de- like say this: Draymond, like Marcus Smart, is the smarter version of Draymond. Yeah, but not tonight. Not tonight. tonight. So, yeah. like, th- th- I think that plays a huge edge. And and, it, and my question is now, like, my big question going into Game Six. Is Boston mentally strong enough to get come back from this? Because this is a huge blow. Game five, they could have won it in Boston. Yeah. They're down 3-2. They can't lose this game. Is, it, is the moment too big? I'm only saying no because they've already won three elimination games, two on the road. Game six in Milwaukee and game seven in Miami. Right. So, And then they won game seven at Boston. So they've won three em- elimination games already. They're back at home for this elimination game. I think being in the garden, it's enough for them to win it. And then it's going to. I but like, even see then, how... they didn't play the team's full strength. Yeah. They beat Milwaukee with Giannis playing the way he did for how long? And then next thing you know, like, not even next thing you know, before going into it, Chris Middleton is out. Then you go into Miami, everyone was hurt. So like, am I supposed yeah, to be impressed? Yeah, but also you had you had Jimmy Butler go like I mean Jimmy Butler went off for like game six and game seven performances of his life, and you were able to beat that type of performance. So like right, if, but then they have four of those guys. No, I know, but I'm saying like, that. but each game it hasn't been too, like if it was two people per game right now for Golden State, I'd be very worried. But the fact that it's only been like like game five or game five tonight, it, you know, it was a weekend. Game four, it was Curry. Like, you haven't had two people. Like, if it was Wiggins and Curry together, then I'd be worried because you're putting 70, 80 points up right there. Right. But, like, but then if, it's, if it's just one person, I feel like Boston has enough to at least force a game seven. Like, I'm wanting to put money on this game six. So, like, I, I, I really want to put money on it. 
because I don't think you're understanding what I'm saying. Because they have this one guy, like I'm with you, they have one guy that goes off, right? Wiggins, Steph, whoever. But my issue is, is like they have two ish guys that kind of come with for the ride. When Steph went off, Poole and Clay was there in four and two, right? The games they won, they've had two sure. other guys there for the party. Three guys combining for about 70, 80 points. That's all they need versus the other team, right? The, the, the Golden State plays fast. We knew that. And then Boston plays physical. And my yeah. fear is that Boston can't keep up, right? Like, how do you beat a bully? You hit and then you, you run, right? Like, you're quick. Yeah. You're moving constantly, right? They get tired. Boston plays such disciplined defense. And how many series did they have to play that defense in order to win? And now they're tired, right? They're, this is like the end of it. They're a younger team. And not only are they a younger team, but like, are they mentally strong enough? Like I get they're young, but that doesn't mean much. And we're going to kind of talk about that in a bit, but like, like, can they mentally come back from it? Like Jason Tatum pulling up in the tiger Jersey, like, or Tizer shirt, tiger shirt, yeah. whatever. Like, and you play like that, then like the antics weren't there. So like, I'm, I'm wanting to put money on this game. So like name your price. And I think the next time we meet Golden State's the NBA champion. So you don't think there's a game seven at all? I don't think there's a game seven. I don't see it. I can't see it happening. Okay. Steph missed nine threes. I know. As it made one. And Wiggins go off for 43. And we're not concerned. As if Clay Thompson hasn't asserted himself as game six. That's my one worry. That's my one worry. I mean, that's my one worry. This is this is like right in front of us. What's gonna really just be the determining factor is Boston's turnovers. That's what's gonna matter. Because if Boston turns the ball over like they what like this fourth quarter, I think there was like nine turnovers alone. Something like like, not maybe not quite, but still like if Boston can keep it, let's say twelve or thirteen turnovers, I think they win. But if they hit it like above fifteen, I think it's over. I don't think how many turnovers, even if they don't turn the ball over, I think Golden State wins it. And I said this from the beginning. I know. I said Golden State in six. You did. So name your price. I mean, I already have a jersey. No, you don't. It's not yet. Not yet. But like, what, what we want God. 10 bucks on this? I can't wait for you to fail this. I like, honestly, like, if, if I owe you a jersey, I'm going to pay up. Don't get me wrong. But if somehow I don't have to, the amount of annihilation I'm going to bring to you, like your family might just own you for a couple of days. Like, I don't think you understand. Your mother's going to text me and say, can you please stop? My son needs to live. I'm going to go to camp. I don't care. <laughs> I'm camp gone. Camp is going to ask you to resign because you were too hurt of a person to speak to anyone in the world right now. Like I'm going to make sure you don't understand. Like you're not going to want to leave your bedroom. Like you're going to like, you know what? Podcast off for two months. I need two months to recover from the fact that you, you have made me into a lesser man. Like if you, a you are man. wrong. Yes. Well, you know, I, I, I guess the only way I can recover from that is having you take me out to dinner. Um, I mean, that's from fair. My previous pick. From my previous pick. A, but here's here's the good news. It's going to be a kid's meal because you won't be a man no more. A kid's meal. A kid's yeah. meal. <laughs> wow. So then name your price, bro. Name your price. You you feel like there's a game seven. So let's, let's just get it. I'll tell you the price at the end. I'm going okay. to let you soak a little bit into it. Okay. I mean – if I, you, I feel like you should be careful. I just want to put this as a footnote before we switch topics, because God forbid I'm right again. It's a jersey and whatever you say. I just want you to understand that going into it. I just feel like as a friend of, like, well, that's nice. We're, like at least I, we're still friends. I'm glad we're still. <laughs> for now, for now, <laughs> and then if I'm wrong, then I'm never talking to you again. That's it. That's it. Colors. No more fair. points. That's We're fine. done. That's fine. That's fine. So let's let's get into this next topic because I think it kind of plays into this this series. Yeah. And, and like specifically, like Jason Tatum, 
uh, when you brought up this topic to me, you kind of mentioned baseball, but this younger generation and its antics and it's, I, I wouldn't say antics in the bad way, but like the way that they present themselves, the way they go the sh- about the, the game, showboating, the show, the showboating. I mean, what is your thoughts? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm torn and. I remember when you so brought it I up to it, me. You thought we were going to agree, but I don't think we might. Well. I, I think it depends on the sport we're going to agree, I feel like. Depends on the sport. Because, like, like we'll start with the sport that I feel like no matter what, it's okay. Like, in soccer, I think no matter what, it's okay to showboat. Like, that's the one sport that no matter what you do, you're allowed to showboat. Like, because the one, it's, you know, you're not putting up 10, 12 goals a game. Like, it might be 1-0, 2-1. Two, two, like, no matter what in soccer, you celebrate a goal. And there's always been, like, you know, even the older generation, like Ronaldo, Messi, every, they all have their own like signature moves and stuff. So that and they one, do it with the team. Yeah, they always do it with the team. So there's like I feel like in soccer, it's okay to show about 100. percent In baseball, I like it a lot. I like the younger generation. I love the bat flips. I love the stare downs. I think it makes it where it's more because baseball's problem, in my opinion, which. I don't appreciate it, but it's like some people, it's hard for people to sit there for three hours when it's a, you know, long, boring game in some people's minds, but you add, you know, this moonshot home run and the batter just stares at the pitcher. Like you add that spice, like you're like, Oh, what next time he's at bat, something interesting is going to happen there. But it's also, it's risky because like, you know, then you're getting hit by a baseball at hundred miles an hour. It's, you know, then you're going to fight, but I like the showboating just because, I think it's acceptable. Like this younger generation, if you can, if you can hit a 460 foot home run, bat flip it all day long. I do it. Right, 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 right. It's good for the sport. Yeah. Yeah. And then these, now these two sports though, basketball and football. I like the showboating, but I also don't because I feel like there is too much showboating when you shouldn't showboat in these, in those sports. If you get a first down in football, I don't need you to run to midfield, you know, the 50 yard line and, you know, do this dance and then show off the first down, especially if you get like one yard, like congrats, like it's your job to get one yard. You didn't score a touchdown. Like I feel like in football, bring back the like, you know, the fun celebrations, but like, I'm tired. Like, you know, defense gets a stop, you know, on third down, they all run to the other side, take a picture and stuff. I'm like, it's too much. But if you had like this massive strip sack fumble recovery for a touchdown, showboat that, yes. But first down, like the little stuff is the my problem in football. It's just like mm. every every play someone showboated, I'm like, congrats, you're a cornerback and you you the you know the wide receiver didn't catch the ball. But you, you didn't do your job. It. Yeah, the just because the white like no, it's not even that. It's like you didn't do your job, he just dropped it and you're like this the whole time. You did nothing. You did nothing. You were beat. He just dropped the ball. Like with the ball yeah. overthrown, he's like, no. I'm like, no, it, that should be a touchdown right now. Like, you got to be bad. Yeah. And then it's the same for basketball. Like, there's moments, yes. But they're also, like, if you just get a nice layup and, you know, you're up by, like, up by 15, no need to flex. You're up by 15. Like, there's moments you should there's moments you should do it. But, like, like Al Horford, when he flexed over Draymond Green, that was a moment to do it. When Jordan Poole, you know, hit the buzzer beater, that's a flex moment today. Like, but there's moments when you don't do it. Like, if it's not a big, you know, big three or a big dunk, like, don't just, don't act like you're that guy. Like, not every shot that the showboat shot. I love the showboating. I love the antics. Any sport I've played, I've done it. I will stare down at you. Listen, yes. if, I, if I knock you to the ground in soccer and I can call for a foul, I'm looking down at you and calling you my son. Like, you're going to come back at me. But there's a time, like, you can't do it every time. And I learned that one the hard way in soccer. That's how my wrist got broken. People didn't like me showboating over the teammate. <laughs> they came at me. So you have yeah. to understand there's going to be consequences. But I think football and ba- basketball, there's just, there's too much showboating that doesn't deserve to be showboated. Like, too much sometimes. I think I even understood this. Like, as you're explaining it, I disagree with the, most of the things that you said, like like some of the things that you said, not too much. Soccer, I agree with you that like, I don't know, soccer is just good. I think yeah, like soccer, soccer is, there's, has yeah. always been a good place. There's never drama with soccer unless like Neymar is wanting to leave Barcelona and that's yeah. just a spicy move. 
right? Yeah. So like soccer, I agree with soccer is a safe one where you can you score a goal, you do what you want. No you one's do ever what you want. Yeah, because it's hard. It is yeah. the hardest game to no, win. No one has ever opinion. stopped a man from backflipping after a, a goal. You know, like it's like go for it. You scored the goal. You scored the goal, and then like what? After you do the backflip, you go hug your team. Like okay, yeah. go for it. You know, baseball. I like it. Actually, no, baseball, football, bas- uh, basketball. I love it. It, it, it. To the reason why you like it for baseball, because you don't know what's gonna happen next. Just yeah. think about it. Like, like you just. I I love like sometimes I go on TikTok and I watch like World Star and I'm just like this yeah. is hilarious. You know, no, no it's like, great. My issue is the off the field stuff. That's fair. That is where I have a problem. I like. Again, Jason Tatum with the Tigers. Who cares, right? Or like, you know, everyone's now wearing Kobe. Like, I get it. Every, Kobe touched yeah. so many people, but it shouldn't be popping up on my ESPN notifications that like Jason Tatum wearing an armband. Like, why don't you just play well? Like, yeah, that's the other the problem time I before have. Before Kobe, they play. What did Jordan do? Like, he yeah. didn't wear. You know, Bill Russell, Will. That's. You know, I think that's my biggest is. problem when it comes to football and basketball, is like the off the field antics that, like, you know, if you're gonna do that, you have to play well, and that's my thing. Like, if you don't play well and you're still trying it, that's that's the biggest problem. Those are that's the two the sports issue. where that's the most. Like, and, and, and it's even like, not only do you have to play well. But like, you gotta be. You can't be like Baker Mayfield flexing and doing your thing, and you're like losing. Or you can't be like Matthew Stafford's a prime example. I love Matthew Stafford. He goes to L.A. He wins the championship, but he didn't showboat because he knows it's not all on him. He's just getting the ball to the guys yeah. that are doing the work. Like that's what. Uh, do, not like I don't know Cam Newton or every time going like this. Like. That's what I'm saying. There's see, that's the point. There's too much sometimes of football. See, you right there at that point, you agree. There's too but, much sometimes. Right there, like, you agree to it. But like, think about it. And your, you even agreed that like, if you like, you showboat as well. Oh yeah, but I can't. Like, so like, what's I'm the problem with them doing it? I'm not gonna showboat if I'm not like, if it's not a big play. Like, if I just hit the ball for out of bounds in soccer. And it was like a 5v5 defense. You know, there was no break or nothing. I just kicked the ball out. I'm not going to showboat. Like that's – like in football, if you just tip the ball on first down, they still have three more downs. Like if it's first and goal and you tip the ball and they, or, you know, you tackled him before the touch – like before the end zone, they're like, oh, let me showboat. I stopped him. Like, no, he's at the one-yard line. It's Derrick Henry. He's going to end the next play. Like I'm sorry. You you didn't stop him. Like that's my problem. It's like But they have every to do play. that to get themselves hyped. But, but every like, what- play – Every play, but the, the issue is they have a lot more players in football, so like everyone is trying to get their moment. Okay, versus so in basketball, you know, then let's say in basketball, then every two pointer you make, are you gonna show about? But like, uh, but like, what, like, like, when did that happen? It's getting to the point, like, like, it's getting to the point where almost every shot someone either stares down at someone. I feel like it's like it's not, but quite they good. have these beefs, that's why you want I know, to watch but it. It's still like. If every single play, like when you're in the first quarter and it's all of a sudden it's four to two, if you're staring someone down already, you're asking to get punched. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. Me and you play one on one basketball and you just laid it up on me and it was clean. I was, you had me looking both directions. Am I, I baptizing you? you at me? Am I baptizing you or am I ankle breaking for the three? Two separate plays and you do that, like back to back. You're telling I mean, me you're not going to roast the Lord and Savior I mean, Jesus Christ. If I baptize you, yes. But if I just make a two point jumper, then no. Even then, you would still say something. No. You know I'd, you would. No, I would wait till I baptize you, you. Because when I baptize you, I would stare over you, look at you, and not move. I would just stare over you. And you would try to get up, and I would step on top of you more. And I, I agree with you that you would do that. <laughs> but I would also I argue that. that you would do that for an easy layup. Because it's no. like you're playing against me and you want to get in my head. But it's one on one. That's different. One on one's different. If it's five v five and I do the layup, I'm not gonna showboat for just a layup. Right, but that's it's the matchup is what I'm saying. Yeah, but I'm saying the first quarter when it's like two to four or six to ten, you can't it's you can't showboat every single point. 
because if you're scoring 100 points a game, that's that's 50 showboats at least. Like it's like it's yeah. You gotta no, you gotta you gotta lay off some. But I don't see. I, I guess I don't pay attention to it because I usually see the fans go crazy for everything, and I think that's what plays a huge factor into it is that these fans hype them up so much where they're not thinking like. I just laid it up. I didn't do anything crazy. Like I could yeah. do it. Like our intern, we, we, we decided to go to the intern, uh, Jess, uh, she's a female. So we wanted to bring her on. Maybe she would come on the podcast one day, um, yeah. but she's doing well. Jess is doing a good job. So me and Brandon are happy with the, the results, but yeah, the point of what I'm saying is like, it, it doesn't happen that much compared to like the finals. You know what I mean? Like you're looking oh, at fi- it in the, the biggest finals, moment. Saying, that's the that's what I'm saying. Like finals fine. But like in football, week one, five minutes in the first quarter, you're already showboating. I'm like, the season's barely started. Like that there's a time and place. But that's like my those, thing. but those games are there's only sixteen of them. It's not eighty four, it's not hundred and sixty. Seventeen now. Se- seventeen now. Seventeen, whatever. Okay. I know, but I'm like, saying I'm saying like if it's like those games way more. They do, but they're like there's still a place like I love the showboating. You just can't do it every play. That's my thing. Like in football, it feels like every play someone is. Basketball, not as much. Football is the one where I feel like it's too much sometimes. Basketball, if I listen, if you have a great play, go for it. Flex on them, do what you want to do, especially if it's in the playoffs. But if it's game one of the regular season or game three of the regular season, like you don't have to, you know, I mean, you can, but I'm, I just feel like sometimes it's too early for it. And, and that's fair. I can understand where you're coming from, but I kind of want to flip the other side to this antics off the field. That is where I'm having the biggest problem. That's fair. You know, like Draymond Green talking, like I saw him on Scott Van Pelt tonight. Like he's talking about his pod. Shut up. Why are you talking about your podcast and like new media? Aren't you playing in the finals? Yeah. Or like, Baker Mayfield is just a prime example because I don't really like him. That's but like fair. Baker Mayfield. Uh, like you see, like this is why I think soccer is a pinnacle of sports because like name one guy that's doing the stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, like there's going to be, you know, you're going to have your name and have once a year. So but many like, people. But yeah, like comparative. Yeah. Comparative. It's nothing. There's no drama. And like baseball, there's drama, but it's more like players versus. It's It's rivalries. <laughs> And it's rivalry, so it makes sense. But, like, they're not going on. It's just what happened to just playing the game. And I think yeah. it's the age of social media really screwed it over for us. Where, like, now, like, I don't know. We're still looking for all the things. And it's just like, yeah, I don't know. It's a great point because the like the older generation kind of just like you done the Saslam type of guys, right? Like, they're just doing yeah. their job. But it's like the age of social media, we see them starting to like, – I've never heard Udonis has them getting mad at someone and then they post it on social media and then we see it more. So I yeah. feel like that's what happens um, both on and off the field. So it's, I think it's interesting. It also, I think what also kind of determines is the level of superstardom for a player. Like if you're – you know, if you are a bona fide superstar – you're gonna do it, but like if you're just like a you know a mediocre player, that's the other problem I have. Like if you're a superstar, right. you are you are in your right to do it every time if you're a super. But if you're a mediocre player and you're doing that's the other thing. If you're doing every play as your mediocre player, you shouldn't be doing it. I feel because like, you're not that guy. Yeah, like do it in your big moments. But if like say you or me. You know, where every single time we scored a point, whatever sport we play, you know, if it was basketball, yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, you know, if if I'm hitting a dagger three on you, I'm I'm draining it. But like, if I just, you know, you know, second quarter three, we're still down by eight, you know, I'm like, like what? No, like that's the other thing. If you're flexing, you're about like if you're flexing a blowout or something, also like, just like shut up. Like that's the other thing in football. Like when someone gets a pick six, I'm like, you're down, you're playing their third string, you're down by forty two right now, like. Do you really want to flex right now? Like that quarterback shouldn't be playing the game. Like your team right. is so trash that he, they took the second string out and put him in. But like this, is, I will, I, the only point I, I want to say two things. 
the first point. If like sure. basketball, they have like the third stringers in. If it's a big blowout, those guys deserve to have their moment. Oh yeah, if it's third string or third string. But if you're a first string player against a third string player, no. And but no, the third string player could flex. This no, first third string player string, can't. Yes, but I'm saying like say like say for some you know like. For some, the what was it? Game two when Golden State was blowing out Boston, and Clay was still in there when Boston had their their bench players in. No need for Clay to flex on those if he did. Absolutely. I don't think he did because but we know that, why he did. He that's did what I'm it. saying. Like yeah. I was like, yeah, like that's what, yeah. If the the third string players can flex, but if you are the like if you're a starting player and you're flexing on third string players, no. Like sit down. Yeah. Uh, the only moment is like it's a literal poster that we've never. Oh yeah, seen I mean if you before. if you're a basketball and you baptize somebody to your own faith, every time. In the name of the Trinity, brother, you are on every time. Cloud nine, you can do what you need to do. Yeah. The second point is, you brought up uh, like superstars, and I just want to say thank you for recognizing that LeBron can do whatever he wants at any point because he is the goat. Um, He's a superstar, but the goat come down. No, 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 no. He's a goat. Come down. We, we went off on that a lot last week. I just want to continue reminding you that I want, the true it's goat. Fine. It's fine. You can remind me all you want. But I know I know that it's hard living up north in D.C. where you guys win nothing ever. <laughs> that you have to just, like, push somebody that's not really the goat as the goat. Because you guys don't know what winning's like. So you just push whoever's the closest person. So once LeBron's retired, you'll pick somebody you knew of. I'm sure it's fine. It's okay. Mm-hmm. I don't hold it against you. I try to help you. I'm worried for your, for your own safety. I am. But, but I, and my, I appreciate that. Yeah, but yeah. for me being technically it. in the South, in Virginia. <laughs> we don't really count that. I, I would say like, I would say, I would say this. I know winning pretty much. Like fairly good because you know I have that jersey coming and then dinner. So, uh, on that note, this um, jersey is kind of like fit, currently it's like you're wearing it and there's nothing. By the way, you do realize the jersey is currently nothing, right? It's underneath. It's underneath. That's I'll just not, should I Venmo request not, you or that's not how Golden does State's work? colors at all? By the way, so it's not the how jersey. How should I do this? Venmo request you. We'll figure it out when uh when I don't have to give you a jersey, so it's fine. So game six is when Thursday. It is Thursday. So what's the bet? I'm just gonna go fifteen. I'll raise Double it. Double thirty. Confident. Oh wow, you're cute. You're cute. Thirty bucks on game six. You know I have a gambling addiction, don't you? <laughs> I'm I'm gonna drain this. I'm gonna drain this before baseball. I'm gonna drain this because I know I'm gonna go downhill from there. Okay. This is purely if they don't win game six, though. This doesn't count for seven. They they have to win game six. No, it's the only game six. Yeah. If they lose game six, you get thirty. If I win, they win game go ahead six. And I get thirty. It, in I'm gonna go ahead and request thirty dollars from you on Vimo, by the way, right now, because I'm gonna need it after Thursday night. Wow. Yeah. That's gonna be so awkward when you don't get it, and then I read Mo request you for my jersey. Just requested. I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, that was a great pod, bro. Great pod, great episode. A little uh, shorter, we'll but you know that's okay. Because let's. The meat so and also, was there. yeah. Just for everyone, like right now, summer we're both starting to travel a bit, so it's going to be a little busy. Um, we still are doing our best to get out every Tuesday at 11 a.m. for y'all Eastern time. Um, so bear with us. You know, if anything, uh. Seems a yeah. bit haywire over the next month to month and a half, but we're still gonna get it out. Um, and then once we're not traveling as much, we'll get back into them more. Monday, consist- yeah. I mean, it's still consistently, but you know, just more, more broadcasting and whatnot. So you know, we appreciate all you guys still watching and commenting and everything. Um, keep spreading. We're gonna word. we're gonna make a good plan. We're gonna make a good plan for you guys. We don't want to just drop you guys. So we're gonna. Yeah, no. I mean. My people are going to talk to Brandon's people. We're going to figure out a good plan for people. you guys. And um, Jess will be there. I don't know. And uh, next uh, week, possible special guest? Possible guest next week. Possible guest. So we have some things in the works, but we want to make sure that before we both head off officially for a little bit of time, 
we have a good plan for you guys. So uh, hopefully next week we should we'll we'll announce it and um, yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch. So we'll see you guys next week. Brandon might show up. He might not. Um, probably won't. Not probably. He definitely won't because I'll be right on two aspects of Game Six. And um, I hopefully will have my jersey probably before that. Um, if it we'll takes see. a while to it takes a while to create imaginary jerseys, so no worries. Okay. 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 Cool. 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 Yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> that Venmo request is going to be very real, though. So don't worry. <laughs> I'm not worried. Don't you worry. All right, uh, man. We'll catch you guys later, though. Next week. Can't wait. Peace.